Hey guys, it's here. I do interview the Zin Leglek Thor Ragnarok 8 pack minifix. So these are all of the minifix right here. Um, so the set number for this one is X0185 and the minifix number for this set is from 807 all the way to 814 which is uh, the executioner. So this is how the figures are packaged. Uh, they, are, they all are packaged uh, the same. And uh, you have Thor, Loki, Topaz, Heimdall, Hela, Serta, Valkyrie, and finally the Executioner. So let's get straight into the figures. So the first main figure is Thor. So he comes with uh, this Power Blast piece and it does fire but it doesn't fire very far. So yeah. So. You have this short hairpiece right here, which looks nice. You have the face print, which looks okay. And you have the torso print. You have these kind of round thingies on here. And you have all of these linings. And yeah, they are in silver. But in the original figure, these lines, they are in gray color. So yeah. Um, and you have this alternate expression, which is his um, kind of all powered up expression I guess with this kind of angry expression and you have this uh, back part of his suit and I have the offshore Lego figure right here and yeah so here's how they compare side by side and yeah you can see the official figure uh, he has the Stormbreaker, but, but yeah, these lines right here, they are supposed to be gray. Um, they are not supposed to be in this silver. Um, they are not supposed to shine. And yeah, same thing goes for the back as well. So yeah. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Thor. And the second figure here is Loki. So he's armed with his uh, two blue daggers and they look pretty nice in blue. Um, so he comes with his uh, helmet here with the pointy ears and they are made of um, this kind of rubbery material. So that's nice. Uh, so his face print, it's not really that good. It looks okay, but... Yeah, they should have just stick with the original face print uh, that Lego included in their Avengers set. But yeah, so the torso print here, you have uh, his outfit which looks pretty nice. You have the green and yellow and you have all the linings and stuff. And you got the leg printing right here. And you got this side arm printing which is on both sides. You got that kind of shoulder pad type of thing and it's also right here and you also have his green cape and this is the back torso print and you also have back hip printing as well which is pretty nice so yeah this is a very detailed figure and yeah he looks pretty cool so that's um, pretty much it for Loki and the third figure here is Topaz. Uh, so she's armed with this uh, this kind of staff thing with this spear at the end. Uh, and I believe this is the staff that the Grandmaster used to disintegrate someone, I believe. And yeah, but for the figure itself, uh, she does have a pretty nice hairpiece. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You have the ponytail at the end. And uh, for the face print, you have some tattoos on there, and you got the expression, not sure what that's supposed to be. But you got the torso print, looks pretty nice. Um, and does have side arm printing, looks pretty cool as well. You have some shoulder pads, and you got gauntlets, I believe. And you got the leg printing. And you got some knee pads, and this is the back. Uh, there's no alternate expression for her, but uh, this is the back torso print. And you even have back hip printing and back leg printing. So, yeah, I mean, that's definitely cool. Uh, 
and yeah. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Topaz. So the fourth figure here is Heimdo. So he's armed with a sword, which I believe is the Bifrost sword. And yeah, so he does have this very nice hair piece here. I'm not sure where it's from, but it looks pretty cool. And the face print here, you have the yellow eyes and you have the beard and stuff. And uh, the torso here, you have some very nice printing. You have the straps and stuff. And you got the belt right there. You got a strap going to the legs. And yeah, uh, pretty nice continuation there. You got some lines. And you got the boots printing. So that's cool. And uh, does have side arm printing. And the uh, the print on the torso wraps around the entire figure, which is really nice. And yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, you have side torso printing, which is cool. And does have side leg printing a little bit with the black lining. And I'm gonna remove the other side. This is how the other side looks like. It's almost the same and this is the back uh, torso print you have the strap right there you have the belt and yeah uh, I'm not sure what the yellow things are but yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for Heimdall the fifth figure here is Hela so she's armed with this axe and also this sword in uh, gunmetal gray which is a pretty cool color and she does have her helmet here, uh, or the crown, not sure what, what it is supposed to be called, but I'm just going to call it the helmet. So, uh, does have some yellow linings on the main helmet. This side kind of horns part, uh, you have some weird camouflage printing, I believe. And yeah, I believe that's not on the original Lego figure, and it's only on one side. And uh, all of these, they are all made out of rubber. So, yeah. And this is her face print. There's no alternate face for her. And she does come with a hair piece, which is pretty nice. I mean, yeah, this is the hair piece. She looks pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty accurate. And she does have a green cape. And the torso print here, you have her suit detailing. There's not much going on on her suit, but yeah. Uh, the green looks pretty nice and you have side arm printing which looks pretty nice and this is the other side it's the same you have some leg printing and you have the back torso print which is pretty cool and you also have the back leg printing so yeah definitely a very detailed figure and yeah a pretty cool figure so aside from that that's pretty much it for Hela and this is the sixth figure right here which is Surtur so he's armed with this uh, sword which is from Nexo Knights and uh, you have the flaming head I guess uh, this is from Ghost Rider this is the mode and it's a pretty cool mode and the entire figure here is in translucent orange which is pretty cool i don't have any translucent figures or transparent figures so it's definitely nice to get uh so uh the face print here you have the uh just the crown and you have a little bit of his face and the torso print here you have the some of his like kind of bone looking uh, things and you got the leg printing they look pretty nice and does have side arm printing uh, and they are all just bones I believe and this is the back torso printing I mean yeah uh, all of these they are all just bones and you got the back leg printing not much but it's all right and yeah I mean aside from that there's uh, not much else going on with searcher 
and this is the seventh figure right here which is Valkyrie so she's armed with her sword right here and she does have a very nice hair piece here um, it's the long hair piece and she does have this blue cape which has this um, printing on here um, there's just three triangles on here Illuminati confirmed maybe but yeah um, it's definitely a nice attention to detail because and you have the face print right here just an empty ex expression and she does have the torso print with the armor and stuff you have the gold and you have the leg printing with the knee pads you have the side arm printing with the shoulder pads you got the gauntlets it's on both sides and this is the back torso print does have back leg printing and also back uh, hip printing and she does have a little bit of printing right here for the boots and yeah I mean this is just uh, some armor detailing but yeah I mean aside from that that's um, pretty much it for Valkyrie last but not least this is Scourge or the Executioner so he's armed with the axe right here which is just built up with three of these pieces and the face print right here you have a little bit of his hair you have the beard with this angry expression and the uh, torso print you have some armor detailing um, yeah they just look a little bit weird but they look fine and you have the leg printing does have side arm printing as well and does have side leg printing and also side torso printing so this figure is just like the Heimdall figure uh, the printing is wrapped all around the torso piece so here's what it looks like and this is the back torso print and yeah does have some very nice designs you have the back leg printing with this kind of not sure what that's supposed to be um, I guess they are chainmail armor maybe but yeah uh, aside from that that's pretty much it for the executioner so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it well I think this set is definitely great I mean all the figures included here they are definitely great it's just that maybe they could have included Thor from Thor Ragnarok not Infinity War because this is the Infinity War Thor with this uh, outfit and they could have included the maybe the gladiator Thor outfit that would have been cool and they could have included some very nice accessories for him as well but yeah I mean it's it's alright I mean, if you didn't get the $20 set then I guess it's nice to get him here but um, my favorite figure out of this set is uh, Valkyrie because yeah she is a very nice figure I really like the design of it and especially this printed cape yeah with these three triangles they just look really nice and yeah she is my favorite figure but if you are getting singles of this uh, I definitely recommend you getting like at least Valkyrie and Hela because they are two really nice figures and um, yeah Hela also uh, she has her hair piece which is the same as the official Lego version so it's definitely nice that they included it and all of these figures here they are all very detailed um, especially Heimdall he has the printing wrapped all around the torso and also uh, same thing goes for the executioners and also for Surtur he is really nice uh, with the translucent orange pieces but yeah um, if you're interested in this set I definitely recommend you getting it because it's a really really nice set and all the figures here they are very detailed so uh, if you want to buy the set here, I'll put a link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.